Hi y'all, I'm Ashton and I refurbish furniture. Right now I do it as a hobby, kind of on the side when I have time outside of my normal job, but eventually I do want to have it full time and my biggest goal is in five years I want my own store. So I decided to start a YouTube series so that I can share my tips, tricks, anything like that for people who have the same goal as me, have a similar goal, or someone who just finds a piece of furniture and they need to know how to restore it, refurbish it, things like that. What got me started, I guess I've always been kind of artistic. I've always taken photos, I've always painted, things like that. Um, but I find beauty in old items. I really love there's just something different about the way things were made back then than they are now. Back then, a lot of care and determination and just, it's, I, I can't even explain it. It's something old ha is so much better than nowadays. Nowadays, everything is mass produced and they find the cheapest materials they possibly can and they mass produce things. And so that's why I love old things, vintage things, antique things. I've always loved that. I've always loved shopping at antique stores and I kind of just got a, a feel for wanting to take these items and make them better or even restore them and put them back to their original state. Um, another thing that kind of really got me started on what I'm doing now is the show Ghost Whisperer with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Love that show, one of my favorite, all, you know, all-time favorite shows. Um, in the show, Melissa Gordon has an antique store and that gave me the idea, hey, one day I want to have my own store, but I don't want it to be just antique items. I want to put my own touch to it, my own, you know, love into it and refurbish the items. So um, let's get into kind of like what I do. I restore, I refurbish, and I repurpose. So let's talk about the difference between those things. Restoring is when you take an old item, say like a chair that you find. Um, for example, I actually got a chair the other day. I only spent $10 on it. Um, it's a chair from 1847. It is in wonderful condition. I don't want to take that and I don't want to put a new paint of coat, a coat of paint on it. I don't want to, you know, paint it green or whatever. I want to keep it in its most original state as I possibly can get. So what I'll do with that is I'll probably sand it down and then just restain it. So that's restoring. You want it in its original state, but kind of clean it up a bit. Refurbish is when you take something and you do paint it. Like say you get a dresser, old dirty brown dresser, you clean it up and you paint it green, you paint it hot pink. That is refurbishing. Now repurposing is when you take something and you use one item and you take it and use it for something else. For example, I went shopping at this, this antique mall down in Albuquerque last week and I found these um, like printer spools and I'm going to turn those into lamps. So that is an example of repurposing. You take an item that was used for something before and you turn it into some a different use for it. Um, so this series is going to have um, you know videos, tips and tricks on how to do certain things. I want to do walk arounds, you know, take you to antique stores, show you how to find good pieces, show you the difference between fake and real, that kind of thing. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything like that, if you have any ideas on projects you would like me to do um, or any tips you want me to go over, definitely comment below. Definitely subscribe. I come out with videos um, or I will come out with videos every two, two to three times a week and I'll, I have, I want to say like 10 projects getting started right now and I will definitely film every single one of, uh, one of them with you and go through everything and show you how to do it. So definitely subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!